Cut over. Boom. I appreciate it. Thanks. I'll be right back. Did he flee, my sweetings? Come out from whence ye hide. There are books and light aplenty, did or not? Come out, say I, or will ye be gravestones to be better born anew? Is it thy wish to be born anew? 
To become a sweeting, reborn of my beloved egg. Play offline, perfect. Almost 300 hours. And crazy enough, what do you mean by that? New features can be enabled in the display tab within the city system menu. Items attained for the first time. Ooh, it's kind of crazy that only after a while did they add that as a quality of life thing. A dedicated tab has been created to view the items obtained most recently. Go. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Okay, what's wild is when I originally played this game, it was on a PS5, it was on this monitor, but even still, the game looks smoother. Like, it feels like maybe they even improved the performance. The frame rate feels great. How does it look on your end? You got I have to remember the buttons. One thing I even did, it's weird because at one point I had played on stream because I did a hand cam. Uh, circle is your sprint button. So you have to kind of like, if you want to consistently sprint, you have to play claw. Huh. Is this like Zelda? If I get some heat on it? I don't remember what does what. Not gonna lie. Here we go. We need heat. Magma shot. That's heat. Oh yeah, how okay, maybe not. How loud is the game? Should I turn it down some? I'm gonna accidentally heal so often. Oh shit. Um, oh yeah, you hold triangle and that gives you like a second little menu of stuff. Force, thank you. The sound effects kind of cover my voice. It's wild because it's there. All right, I gotta remember what I'm doing overall. So it's one of those games you can kind of do anything, go in any order. But generally speaking, you start here. And then you'll see the little, the, it kind of points you in the direction you're supposed to go, at least for certain mini main storylines. And I'm way up here, Laernia. Now I have beat the ball, like you have to, get to a certain point in the game to play the DLC, I have gotten to that boss and I've beaten it. So I could play it, but I just don't have 40 bucks to drop right now. All right, there's so many things. All right, I still have to beat this castle's boss. He's been a bia. But while I get better at the game again, let's go. Let's go somewhere like here. Two. <clears throat> Hiya! Damn it! I keep hitting square to attack. All right, I need a hundred and thirty-seven thousand runes to level up. I have three great runes, apparently. I beat Godric, Radon, and Morgoth. I thought I've killed Moe. Alright, anyways. Uh, 
Oh, talk, so you play on mobile, right? And it's a game like Genshin. Open world, kind of Breath of the Wild art and map. Are there different classes? Like, are you like a mage or a, you know, an archer? I am going to waste so many health pots. How do you get off your horse? That seems convoluted. I don't remember where this takes me. Big ass open world. And so with like Genshin 2, and then you, you pick a party of like three out of however many you own. That thing was gross. Whatever was on my loading screen, very gross. Hate everything about that. So this, when you absolutely start the game, you start up in that cathedral up there, and then you come down here, and you fight your first boss, and in, in what's essentially a scripted fight that you're supposed to lose. This game's just so fire. Because if I remember correctly, in Dark Souls, one thing that, yeah, it makes it more challenging, but it's also like just tedious is if you want to fast travel in a Dark Souls game you have to, you basically have to go to a node and then fast travel to other nodes you can't just like fast travel to a node and this game just lets you just fat any of the like campsites you find just lets you go there um all right since you were pointing out the Kayla thing I can go back there Fire Force. I love that type of Fire Force, is that an anime? I have not seen that. Alright, we're in Kaled. Oh, I hate, hate the mob, the like centipede looking thing. Not only are they gross, but they shoot these missiles at you that are mad frustrating. A Marika statue, which means I can summon things. Um, yep, you know the you know the vibes. So these things are kind of frowned upon from like Dark Souls uh, purists, to put it nicely, right? Um, and on boss fights, I try not to use them. Most boss fights I've beaten without him. There is even one boss fight, and I have a clip of this, where I started it, I summoned an enemy, I think on accident, or maybe it was even a carryover, I already had him spawn, I don't know. Either way, I and my summons devoured the boss. Like, before I can even hit the boss myself, my summons had taken him half health. And so I ultimately let the ball kill me and I started it over and beat him. Oh, damn. That got real quick. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, move. Long story short, I don't try to use them in boss fights, but in areas that I've already cleared before, yeah, I'm going to use Dude, look at the vistas in this game. And I'm far enough where the meteor thing has crashed over there. Oh. 
This game is incredible. Audio is still good when I'm fighting those people or am I getting drawn out? Uh, I think here I go boom. Oh, there's so many fire things about this game. This little pouch too. You can have things here quickly. You basically have these two free slots so you don't have to go into your inventory. You have the four additional, and then if you need two extra items, you can put them there. Oh, creepy. Hate it. Accidentally use the health pot. Not ideal. These things smell so close. I hate it. I hate it so much. Uh oh. These, these, <clears throat> this used to cause me so much trouble. Obviously my character is, <laughs> um, is uh, much stronger now. This summon's a badass though. Okay, let's go see if I have killed the dragon that's up here. Excuse me. So the first time I passed through here, I'm like boom, like I'm sure a lot of people, you you roll up and up ahead. That's actually a little further ahead, I think. Anyways, on your right, on the right side of the road. I think a lot of people will probably assume it's a giant one of these whatever, you know, like coral reefs of dread, but above ground. And you assume it's just another one of those. And you just do 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 and then it starts moving and it's a freaking dragon. So cool. This shot's brilliant. I have a funny clip of I'm here, right? I'm talking to this merchant. First time I had ever interacted with the merchant, chilling in the menus, literally in the menus, talking to this guy. And I get attacked by one of the mini bosses, I guess. Something called the Knight Calvary. I think I bought all the items here. The completionist in me make sure he buys you know i try to buy everything from every vendor even if i don't really need it be well farewell okay i guess the question is did i ever beat the commander down here all right i am going to get music queued up for moments like this oh no i'm not Get it together, Creed. Uh oh. This dude spins like that uh, droid <clears throat> in uh, Star Wars. I think it's like an HK unit. Yeah, for real. You saw that? Oh, they're coming after me. Y'all, leave me alone. I'm just here to see if there's a boss. 
don't mind me. Tell me if there's too much, like is it? Obviously when I get into a, a main fight that has its own like, like orchestral stuff, I will uh, use it. Oh, hey fellas. Destructo disc. Oh. I think I have B.O. His name's like Commander O'Neill. Yeah, okay. Um, um, I don't know. I know. Okay, what I do know is there are things called like legacy bosses and dungeon bosses. There's Elden Ring fans will know, but it, it's not as simple. It's just like main boss, mini boss. But oh, I'm about to die. But I'm just going to call them main bosses and mini bosses. This dude was a main boss. Okay, pausing it doesn't pause the game, but there's a trick. Is it this? There it is. That like, it kind of tricks the game and pauses it. guy gave me the most difficulty. I'm actually embarrassed to say. Alright, let's go do something. We checked there. We beat that. Beat that. That dude is still there. He's very creepy. Death roots pointing me in this direction. Let's come back here. I think I've beaten this area, this little zone, whatever you want to call it. I know inside there is a creepy bat lady. Like a creep creepy bat lady. Well said. Oh, that's not even the creepy one. That's just a normal bat thing. Get out of here. All right. Let me get my shit together. <coughs> There's the creepy lady one. Oh no. Dude, she's just throwing her stink at me. Oh no, we're dead. We're not dead, but we're gonna die. I'm overclicking. There's so many buttons you gotta press if you. So I like to do melee and magic. And one of the difficulties, I know some people like difficulties using magic, <laughs> but you have a lot of different inputs. You gotta do. Uh oh. You got a lot of different inputs. You're pressing like right on the D-pad to go from your staff to your sword. You're pressing up on the D-pad to cycle between your spells. You know, down cycles between your uh, health pot and magic pot. It's like 
that's that looks nothing like a succubus. That's why I was like, it's a it's a great first guess, but that doesn't do it justice. I like creepy bat lady who just stole my lunch. Stuck in it. I can't believe my meteors missed. No. I am getting effed. This, these actually feel like things that magic don't actually help against. Really. I mean, you know what I mean. Like, it's not a free win. Doing much better with melee. Here. I'm poisoned though. Oh, I got two more lady bats. Sherry, Sherry, lady. All four. That's an insta death. She just. She just kind of sat on my face and killed me. Um, I'm pretty sure I've beaten this four. I don't know how many times I want to try this. The. Martine? I don't know that. Is that, uh, like Morbius's lover? I'm actually not that familiar with Morbius in the comics. Yeah, that was more of a Fantastic Four, Black Panther, Doctor Strange fan. Dude, she just actually mounted me and insta murdered me. I hate it. I can't, did Dark Souls, did any of the Dark Souls have a sneaking mechanic that, I have not, oh, I have not seen the movie anymore, either. and not because I won't watch things that, you know, the general audience are, is memeing and says it's bad, I love some guilty pleasure movies, um, I mean, one of my favorite uh, maybe my still my favorite, like my favorite movie of all time is Gone in 60 Seconds. Instead of, which isn't like a breathtaking piece of cinema. Yeah, I don't remember either. I, I know Sekiro did. Because that would be another thing. I need to get the death counter back up, I guess. I used to have that when I played this in the past on stream. <laughs> 